What is up guys and welcome back to Drone X and as you can see I am in the new studio and it's coming along nicely it's not finished yet but yeah during the next couple of videos it will probably change a lot and I've already started filming another video which is the first one I filmed in here which is the Gep RC Phantom review that's coming out soon I hope but in the meantime this video will actually probably be out sooner and uh, well, a couple of videos ago I built my uh, toothpick drone from like old mobler parts and uh, I just taped the camera on like this. But the camera is taking some abuse and it's time to switch it out for a new one. And also at the same time I'm gonna 3D print a canopy for this drone to make it a bit more nicer. So I got a pretty standard, pretty cheap FB camera and VTX all in one. This one has a OSD and these extra cables for that. So that's really nice. You really want uh, a camera with that so you can use the Betaflight OSD on the uh, Moblet chip. Okay, so we're gonna install this and uh, I'm gonna take some measurements and build a 3D printed canopy. So when I'm 3D printing, I like to use the program Fusion 360. It is free for students and creators. So if you wanna try this program out, just go ahead and do that. It's a really awesome program. So. I go into Fusion 360 and the first step is always trying to mount the thing you're building to, well, a base. So first I just take measurements of my flight controller and I try to just make a shape that will fit well on the flight controller. I then go ahead and print that part because uh, I just want to see how it fits and it goes way faster to just print that part and get that one right before I move on. And the awesome thing about 3D printing like this is that I can print a lot of prototypes and it doesn't have to fit perfectly the first time and I would kind of experiment. For instance, I only printed the canopy the first time to see how the camera fitted. Then I realized it was really easy to mount the camera itself with a just rubber band. And that way I didn't actually have to make anything on the back that screwed on or anything. It was just super simple to attach it with the rubber band. It, it holds firmly in place and also it kind of protects the camera because when you're crashing into something uh, the camera kind of just bounces back which is really neat. So this is what it looks like in the end and I'm actually pretty satisfied with the result. Now the camera angle on this one is pretty steep. I might do some other 3D prints with a lesser steep camera angle but for now I'll try use this one and see how I like it. So as you can see I did 3D print a lot of these. Here are three different canopies and they are all very similar but they all uh, have like slight variation. If you want to 3D print this one for your uh, toothpick build then go ahead and check the link in the description below to my Thingiverse page and you can just download the files. So overall I really liked how this turned out and now you have a better understanding of the 3D printing process and how to actually build stuff. And as I said earlier, you can download Fusion 360 for free. It's a really neat program and I don't really have that many tutorials to suggest, but you can just, my tip is just go into the program and just try different stuff. And I basically just learned the whole process by learning by failing. Like I try something and if it doesn't work, then I just try something else. And it's a pretty intuitive program, so you'll learn it pretty quickly. Anyways, that was it for this video, and it was fun to release this first video in the studio. And uh, in the few a couple of episodes coming now, uh, the studio will probably change a lot, but at least this is like a bit of a preview of what it might look like. So yeah, I guess until next time, I'll see you in the next video.